Okay, so we have all things all set now. We did done um, sculpting our our actual fur, and now it's time for the rendering. So what I quickly want to show you guys before we do the final render, we done everything in layers. So if if you're not too happy like with the actual outcome of like if this was too much of sculpting you can just come over here and just give it a any number you want and just dial it down just drag the slider or just punch the amount that you want over here and this will basically just blend um all the details that we we like hand sculpted and with all the guide for like that even distribution etc so it'll just do that or you can just come in here and just drag the slider if you want to and this will blend everything with the the other layers so this is very very good um workflow so it's non-destructive as you can see now we're getting that smoothness I can probably increase this a tad. Probably like 0 0.5 something. Just for us to blend everything together. And so we can continue. I think this is fine. And also we can give it a test render. If you go down to Arnold. If I don't have it open already. What's a render? So I think there's a lot of uh, I think I, I I can decrease the length over here at the back yeah at the bottom there's a lot of fur going on so I can probably come back over here um still uh, always oh no I think it's open over here it's this one yeah it's this one remember our test render so click you can see. You can see now we can blend this together. If I if we look at our previous renders, you see how, how much of clumping we had. Uh, so you can basically blend everything together if it's just too much for you. Uh, like this one is very, very, too, very much. And then now you can just blend everything together like so. As you can see, so I'm just gonna stop st stop that and prepare everything for a final render. I just press plans, final render, and while we add that, so we attribute editor. We, I just added 175. I'll, I'll probably increase it this also if needs be. While you add that, let me decrease this length over here so i'm gonna go back to the fur base and then i'm just gonna go to dial this down a tad and then i'm just gonna decrease this over here it didn't look well like sit well with me okay i'm just gonna grab the just make sure that we on our scarf layer selected and then i'm just gonna grab the lens brush the length brush two settings make sure i'm in negative like so scale this brush down size is way too much okay i'm just gonna come in the side now just decrease this length and if i zoom in over here you can actually see this So I'm probably use the the the, uh, the grab brush also to finesse this just to move these guys this direction like so I'm gonna zoom back out for a view so now it's time to choose which view we want and then we're still gonna take it to photoshop and then do all 
the final, the final adjustments. Then I'm gonna go back, um, say Control S, save scene. Just give it a quick save. And then let's say you, you just want a black background, but then you, you still want to affect. Um, so like if I do like a, a quick render right now, this background is it's going to show because we used a uh, sky dome light so let's say you don't want that but you just want um still to have this light on like lighting up on the model but then the background to be black or transparent or whatever so what you can do is click the selecting the select tool click your sky your sky dome light go to the attribute editor if you let me just hide this if you scroll down to the visibility section there's this camera um slide over here if you take this way down like to zero you can if i press play this should like you see now we have a black background like so we have all of these background so what we go, gonna do for our renders, we 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 gonna have one with um with the background and the other one with just the black background, and then we're gonna blend those two layers together in the final render. So say so we're happy with this. And see, and also if you wanna blend blend everything, you you can just. Just making it like so, just putting it a bit. As you can see, it's updating like that. So for the first pass, let me just stop this. I'm gonna take it to one. Uh, yeah, and then let's increase our fur. I, I, I think that's the first. Go to fur base and just crack it up, probably like 180 or so. Add more fur to our model. And then after we added our fur, we're gonna jump back to the render settings. And then have those. Just give it a, a few seconds to update. Just give it a few seconds to update. And then probably take it, it doesn't take too long. <laughs> and it's not a lot of uh, it is a lot actually now. Let's see. So it starts showing up like this, but then it, this is just a viewport issue. If you give it time, it's still going to update. So if I zoom out and then you see now. Yeah, that. So this is just a viewport issue. And then once we have that, I'm going to go to... Uh, now we can... Just finalize our model like the uh, tree bark for the final render if i could just show you guys the material um, i used uh, i i used them um, for the for the normal map i just changed it to bump if we could just open the hyper shade over here so you guys can see uh the tree bark over here just froze okay cool the normal map remember we apply the normal map only our oh, and the displacement also so for the for the uh, for the normal map i i just change this to bump and for the for the other ones i just use object space or oh, but then you can just you can just choose that between which effect you want and stuff so it depends with you guys in my case i just cho chose that and it, and it works well and then for the rest also i just used the as you can see i just bump for this one uh, you can see and let me see oh no let me update sorry refresh Choose the eye, 
and then refresh so for this one i use object space no more as i can see and then the texture which I applied we went through all this so just verifying that um if the details are not the same but then yeah guys we'll, we'll get this um maya file now what we want to do we want to go to the render settings and now it's time to increase this public camera aa this is very important this specularity so if you increase this you get more realistic fur so these specular samples i normally set it at five but in this case i'm, I'm, I'm just going to use six get those details deck tips um no, i'm not going to use that i'm going to use um let me see clamping no we're going to leave that leave that to normal these are so if we had like we you can use auto bump but then this takes way too long if you have like um subsurface scattering and stuff you can use auto bump and then this is the tab we're looking for the rate depth just make sure that you increase the specularity also over here probably six or seven depends um entirely with you guys and then the rest it's uh, pretty much fine just leave it at normal unless you want to tweak anything it's entirely up to you guys and then go to the next panel um, where the oh the, the first one the common panel um, i just chose jpeg to, to save jpeg images because we still gonna bring all these two images in um, in photoshop remember i told you we're gonna grab one with a background and then the other one we will just have a, a black background and then the rest and then lastly the image size uh just keep it at 2k i just keep it at 2k and the it kind of works well for me probably i can use 3k i don't know but i'll see uh, or you can just increase the resolution but because the screen i'll just let me use 3k i'm gonna use 3k or you can use 4k etc or you can just use your custom over here your custom size right now it's set at 2k mm. probably yeah i believe this is fine uh, so the the width is it's, um, it's long yeah it's fine and then the rest you, you can leave it at default once you have that and lastly click your sky dome light and just increase your samples i have mine at five I just crank that up if you want to okay shadows turned on everything is sharp everything's sorted and once you have that uh then we can start rendering so what i'm gonna do obviously i'm i'm gonna pause this because it's gonna take probably like 30 minutes or so to to render this image over here so I, I, i'm just gonna pause it and then i'm gonna come back once we're done and then we're gonna import these images to photoshop and then we we can start com uh, compositing everything over there for our our color corrections and so forth so yeah thank you guys for your time and uh, i'll see you soon just now Just click render and then sweet. All right, so our render is done. It took about a few minutes to calculate everything, probably like 45 minutes or so. But it entirely depends on your system. As you can see, the samples that we had, these ones over here, that we set up all together, and it's a 3K t um, image fairly decent we can see all the fur and stuff fairly realistic you see over here so that's that and what you can do now we can save the image so we'll go up to file save image i i use jpegs 
and then um, go to uh, four. Then yeah, that's saved. And then also um, now what what we can do, and then open up this in Photoshop and just do some quick color correction, and then that will be it for our course. So again, thank you guys for your time, and uh, don't forget also to save. Also, um, like with the black background, like so. So I done like two renders and stuff. So it took about an hour. Without the background over here, I just dial down the, the the camera to zero, as I showed you guys over there. So just stop this guy. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for your time, and let's continue in the next lecture in Photoshop with some quick color corrections. Cheers.